Hello, people of the internet. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Good Friday to you all. Hopefully you are wrapping up your week well or possibly getting an early start to the weekend. Regardless, hope you're having a good day today. We have got a new release coming from the gentleman, TAN. We have not had a release from in a little while. Last time I checked back in with them was their first anniversary when they did a song titled Fix You, which was really smooth and really nice. And that was my kind of first foray into them as a group. And now we have a new release titled Heartbeat. Now, this is a group that I really don't know anything about, apart from that they're a K-pop boy group who was part of last year's debuting class. Which has me excited because, frankly, whenever I get to check out a group that I don't really know very well, it's a, it's a kind of mysterious world out there, you know. We're going into uncharted territories, and that's always slightly scary, but also very exciting, because you tend to kind of come across some hidden diamonds in the rough that way by exploring out into the uncharted unknown. So, let's see what this one is all about. Here we go. I do need to confirm something real quick. Where's Spotify? And I need to remember... No, uh, T-A-N, T-A-N, T-A-N. What did they debut with last year? Do do do. Trying to think if I remember listening to it. Oh, and this also came with an EP. Good to know. Good to know. All right. Um, gosh, last year's rookie class is just. Last year isn't even that long ago. It's only eight, eight and a bit months ago. And it's like, pff, there's been so much music we've covered since then. And it's like, it was, my brain doesn't have the capacity for that. But let's see what this one is all about. Here we go. Quite loud. Heartbeat. When I look in your eyes, all of the time I'm losing my mind. From touch of the time, 심장에 맞춰 gonna take you high. Oh, hello. Hello, Boko Run. How many different synths are they using? There's like four different synths they've used so far. On that drop one beat, okay. If you want to phone, then let's make our bit. Get it up in life tonight. I got this, got this feeling that we got it. The instrumental followed the rap first cadence and that broke out of the meter for a second. That entire rap verse is just kind of smacked me in the face a little bit. This chorus is so filthy gross. Yeah, as a fan of the synthesizer, oh this is great, there's so many synths to choose from. I don't wanna waste time, waste time, but this I go best time, best time. I love the panning ad libs that like eventually centered in the middle. Oh, 
Oh, I love that. Hold off on the release twice over. And this glitchy chorus drop. You end it on the... <sighs> okay. Wow. Color me impressed. That has really just kind of snuck up out of nowhere and smacked me in the face. Yes. It's like I'm still kind of trying to like process everything. If there were definitely at least three different synthesizer parts, all of them with a very different synthesizer style to them. Like there was a there was a portion of the song where it went full EDM. There was a part where it went like retro. There was one place where we went almost chip tune electro. Man. That is a synthesizer laced roller coaster if I've ever heard one, and I'm not mad at it one bit. In fact, that chorus though, that chorus is something else. I kind of want to go back to it because it reminds me of something. If I can find it, I'm pretty sure it's around here, right? Just the fact that it's that lone synth with the with the launch pad kick. That's the only two instrumental parts you get on this chorus drop. It's so nice. It's fresh. But it's also nostalgic at the same time. It reminds me of... an EDM drop of some sort. It's, it's kind of like Tiesto's Boom. But with one less synthesizer part to it. What else does it remind me of? Reminds me of Superhumans drop a little bit before the vocals kick in. I'm so super. Like that part. It reminds me of that. But the way they execute it, too, it's such a short delay that it's like. It, it makes you kind of snap back into it a little bit because you expect it to drop on the one, but they drop it on the two of the measure. <laughs> Two, three, four, Heartbeat. silent. Two, three, four. In fact, it actually quite it reminds me a lot of 127's uh, uh, Superhuman. The way that the big flourish with the vocals comes in later, it's just that they've extended that initial glitchy EDM synth part for a little bit longer. But here's the thing. Anti-drops are a very touchy subject. No, not touchy subject is the wrong word. Anti-drops can be very volatile for me, very hit or miss for me. Some anti-drops I absolutely adore, some anti-drops I absolutely cannot stand. There's no really in the middle for me when it comes to it. For me, this by, I think, textbook definition does qualify as an anti-drop, but my brain doesn't perceive it as one. And I think it is the f it comes down to the fact that I grew up around, like, I spent my years in high school in like the early to mid 2010s when realistically i probably should should have and could have been listening to k-pop i spent listening to edm a lot of edm you know like non copyright sounds monster cat like those were like the labels you know, back in the day when youtube gaming had really taken off everyone was throwing edm music in their gameplays and things like that so, like, that's the music that I grew up around in high school. And it takes me back to that place. It's a very simple instrumental part once that drop happens, but it's a really effective synth, synth drop. 
and it's executed really well too like they throw in a little bit of vocals here and there but it's minimal it's simple it's rhythmic it's also surprisingly like alluring the way the vocal parts just kind of jump in on this drop portion It's like they're slowly drip feeding the more melodic elements and then full drop. It's that little synth run at the end there. That's when that third EDM synth genre comes in because that is very like very close to being chiptune and electro style EDM and it just appears out of nowhere and you'd think that once that initial drop had hit it couldn't go up any higher it just keeps going and by the end of the song there's definitely like that chiptune electro synth there's that crunchy synth you get a little bit of a twinkling synth in the middle then you've got that launch pad beat it's just synth everywhere and I love it I am genuinely gobsmacked by this because it's so many things at once. It's fresh, it's nostalgic, it's oh, well, it's new in the fact that this is a group that I don't really listen to. But nostalgic in that it reminds me of a song that I found ages ago. It reminds me of a genre of music that I listened to ages ago. But it's wrapped up in a package that's so creative and so multi-layered that I'm kind of struggling to really accurately portray how impressed, satisfied I am when it comes to this song. Stamp of approval for me. Very good song, gentlemen. Very good. Indeed. But that is it for me today. Thank you all for watching along with me. Hopefully you enjoyed it as much as I did. One last request for me today. Let us work together as a community to bring a little bit of extra happiness back into the world. Whether it be, you know, checking with your friends and family, holding the door open for somebody, even picking up a piece of trash off the street. Just one small act of kindness to may brighten up someone else's day to day. And know that wherever you are in the world, should you ever be going through a tough time in your life, for whatever reason it may be, even though I'm just some guy and they don't know who waffles about music in his free time, know that I will always be a friend, an ally, and a shoulder to lean on whenever you need me. So take care of yourselves, take care of each other, spread the love, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.